excuse my one broken nail it was like the day after I got them done it broke I feel like when I film these videos like I get talking so much and I forget to breathe hey guys so today's video is going to be my October favorites I know that it's like November 8th now but I didn't do a September pre I didn't do a September favorites and I did promise I do October favorites and I have quite a bit of stuff to do. So I thought better late than never. I haven't sat down in front of the camera and talked in a while. Um, I was out of town. I went to Austin for a newspaper conference with my school. Um, so yeah, anyways, I have a lot of stuff to talk about. So let's get into it. All right, so the first thing we're gonna talk about is hair. This is the Remington something. It's the one and a half to one inch tapered barrel. I got this off of Amazon. The reason I'm talking about this is because my, just had to repurchase this one maybe a couple weeks ago because my other one crapped out. And this is what I use to curl my hair. I've been using it for the past two years now. I um, so anyways, this is what I use to curl my hair. Let me know if you guys want a hair tutorial. I haven't done one yet. Um, and kind of how I curl my hair is a little bit more unique. I prefer it to be a little bit more curly than, um, wavy. So yeah, let me know if you want to see that. This is a kind of a luxury item that I feel like everybody and their mother has been talking about for the October favorites. It's the Elizabeth and James Dry Shampoo. I have mine in the black. I got it as a gift. This not only is a phenomenal dry shampoo, but it smells fantastic. The first time I used this, I sprayed it in my hair. I was so surprised about how much of the oil lifted off and then how good my hair smelled like forever. Um, cause this was the only dry shampoo I was wearing. I mean, my boyfriend, even after the first day of using, he was like, why does your hair smell so good? It's never smelled like, not that it smells bad, but he's like, it smells like you have something in it. And I was like, it's this, um, it is expensive, but, um, it's 28, I think. But I think if you were to just use this for special occasions or, um, something like that, where you wanted to have that kind of lasting, um, smell power in your hair, I would definitely recommend this. I think this is amazing. Phenomenal. So next in the realm of fav fragrance, this is the Bath and Body Works spray Be Enchanted. This is my all time favorite Bath and Body Works spray. Number one, number two, it's my favorite scent for the winter. Um, I think the first time I got this, I was maybe 15. So like six years later, I'm still crazy about this scent. I will probably be crazy about it till I'm 80. Um, but I love this. This is my go-to scent when it starts to get colder, which it finally is starting to do in Texas. Um, so I've been using it a lot. It's this empty just because I've had it from the last year. I have like three bottles of these. Um, I cannot honestly tell you what it is. I think there's toasted plum, like sugar plum, and I don't know what the rest is, but it smells fan. Fantastic. I love this a lot. All right. So now getting into skincare. This is the Fasanti Brighten Up Enzymatic, Enzymatic Face Rejuvenator. Basically, it's an exfoliating cleanser. I got this in my Ipsy September bag. Um, and the first time I used it, I was having a really big problem with dry patches around my nose and kind of lip area. Even though I have really oily skin, you still get those dry patches and I could not get them off. Um, I normally use the Bosha exfoliating peel gel, wasn't doing it. It was just staying there and it was aggravating because it made my foundation bunch up. It made it look horrible. First time I used this problem gone and my number one, how wonderful and radiant and fresh my skin felt was amazing but how well my makeup went on was also phenomenal um since this is a smaller size I don't know what it retails for for size full I don't know what it retails for full size but I want to find out because I like this a lot perfect all right so getting from skincare towards makeup this is the Smashbox photo finish primer water now honestly I'm still skeptical about this. This could be like just water, like Fiji water in here and we would never know. But I like using this, not as my sole primer, but mixing it with, um, not mixing it, but using this in addition with my number seven mattifying primer, just because sometimes 
I mean, again, I have really oily skin, but sometimes around this area in my cheeks, it can get a little bit drier. It can get some dry patches. So I just spray this all over as a kind of refresher. Then I go in with my number seven in just the T-zone area. And I think it works really nicely. Um, I don't feel as dry when I put on my makeup. Is it making a huge difference? Probably not, but I still like it. All right. Things are falling. Right, so next, we're going to talk about some lashes. This is the Vegas Nay and Eyler collab. First off, I hadn't been using Eyler. I used Ardell was the only um, false lashes I used. And then I picked up some Eyler ones just to try one because I, I wasn't really happy with the Ardell ones. So I picked up some of those and um, at Ulta. And the um, cashier was like, oh, have you seen the Vegas Nay ones, the collab she did? And I, you know, heard of Vegas Nay, but I was like, no, I didn't realize she did a collab. So she's like, they're really, really pretty. They're really good. So I was like, okay, maybe next time. So next time I went in, or no, it wasn't next time, Amanda Ensign talked about the Grand Glamour ones. And they look so pretty. I ordered them online. Um, and I've been crazy about them since. These are my all-time favorite lashes. They are so phenomenal. I haven't been able to find them. I haven't been able to find them in store. The one time I did, I so regret. I was like, oh, I don't need to pick them up because I hadn't actually tried them yet. Biggest regrets in the world because honestly, I wish I had more packs of these. These are phenomenal. I wish I had a bunch in stock, but I can never find them in store. I don't know if they're in stock online or not. I might have to make a special order to have these in stock because I just love these so, so much. The other ones I have from her are the Shining Star, and this is actually my second pair. I have another pair that I've used, but yesterday I picked up, I had to go get some dry shampoo, so I went and picked up another pair of these just because I like these a lot. They're a little bit wispier than these ones. These ones are like, almost like mink lashes, like they're double stacked, super heavy, like dramatic, and these ones are a little bit more wearable. Um, and I am wearing other Eyler ones. These are their dramatic volumizing ones. They kind of flare out. So I'm really in love with Eyler lashes right now. I want them all. Next, this is a product I have used in the past. And then I switched to another product and I've gone back to using this one. It's the NYX Eyebrow Cake Powder. Yes, it is disgusting looking because I've had it for a really long time. Um, specifically, this is really the only color I've used. I don't think I've ever used this color. And I don't use the wax anymore because I use the Anastasia Brow Gel. But I have been loving this a lot to fill in my brows. It's what I use to fill in my brows today. It just gives a little bit of a softer look. The brow gel was turning a little gray. It was a little taupey on me. Um, so I've been using this and I like it a lot. This is the... Kari, Kari, something grand lip whip. And this is a lip saver. Um, this is kind of what it looks like. It's their peppermint tinted lip whip. Lip whip, that's really fun to say like that. And it's probably really annoying too. Um, but what I've been doing with this is just um, putting it after I exfoliate my lips, then just slathering this on before I go to bed. Since it's a, a, li a little bit heavier, a little bit stickier, wouldn't recommend it for the day, but if you like wearing liquid lipsticks like I do, I highly recommend picking this up. It's at Sephora. I don't know the cost. I'll leave prices and links down below. Um, but I think this is amazing how much it has saved my lips from being overly dry from liquid lipsticks. So get your hands on that. Here are some eye products. This first one, this is the Makeup Forever Artist Liner in M10, which is the black shade. I got this. Makeup Forever had a 500 point perk, um, and this was full size in it, so I went ahead and picked that up. And I really like this. I've been using it to tightline my um, upper lashes, and I think it works really, really well. All right, the next uh, eyeliner, it's what I've been using to line my eyes and create my fabulous wing lately i've sworn up and down by the stila stay all day liquid liner and said i haven't been able to find anything better but i have it's the nyx matte liquid liner okay first off i would compare this a little bit more to trooper by kat von d just because it is a matte where stila is shiny i think their vinyl liquid liner is probably comparable as far as the look of it to the stila but this is really black lasts all day long even when i cry it lasts all day long. I don't know if it's specifically specifically waterproof. 
but it does last all day long and I have been really really loving this it's more of that brush and pot um, kind of tip so if you prefer the pen then you're probably not gonna like this but this is four bucks and to me it does a better job than my Stila has been as far as getting that intense point um, people talk about this one the NYC one I haven't tried that one I hear that one's like two bucks and it's really good but I really like this one because it's four bucks versus 21 bucks and it does the same job so the next a lot of people have been talking about this one too and for good reason this is the Kat Von D Mi Vida Loca Remix Palette. This palette. I used it every single day in October. No lie. There wasn't a day I wasn't using this palette. Look how beautiful it is. Okay, let's first, let's talk about the neutrals in the palette. Because a lot of people want to talk about it has all the colors. These neutrals are phenomenal. If I could get these neutrals in a palette by itself, like that would be my everyday palette no lie these are phenomenal and it makes me so happy that she put them in because one you have transition colors you have your deeper crease colors you have your highlights your shimmers you have all the colors of the rainbow you can create virtually any eye look like this with these and the pigmentation on all these are phenomenal except for echo i don't know what went wrong with Echo? Maybe because it's the only glitter one, but it's not very pigmented. But the rest of these are phenomenal. I have been using Harpsichord to death, and I don't normally go for reds. And then my second favorite one has been Skulls. It's my inner corner highlight. I have been using that to death. Um, what are some other good ones? Oh, Hyper Ballad. Really pretty analog. Um, even Vox and Noble. I've been really, really loving these colors. So I think this is a phenomenal palette. It is like 60 bucks, but you get so many colors. They're so big size. I mean, I've been using Skulls literally every single day in October, and there's barely a dent in it. So I think, you know what, it's worth the money. If you're going to get one holiday palette, I would say get this one. I will be doing a tutorial, probably several tutorials, using this and um, let me know if you want a review of it as well, kind of what I did with the uh, Lorac Pro palette. I'll probably do that with swatches and stuff for this one. So, love that. My dog is barking right now. Rude. All right. The last three products are lip products. Two of them, they're the same, they're just different colors. These are the NYX Liquid Suede Lipsticks. And I feel like a lot of people talked about these when they first came out. Um, like, people got them, you know, NYX sent them out or whatever. But I've been using these steadily for the past two months and I love them. My favorite two colors are Cherry Skies and Soft Spoken. Cherry Skies is like a red like a burgundy red almost and soft spoken it's like a brownish mauve think of like lolita when you think of soft spoken i really like these colors a lot i have also um kitten heels vintage sandstorm and what the other one that i can't remember right now but these two are my favorite colors i've been loving them and wearing them a lot um, the formulation on those are really, really nice. Um, they do transfer a little bit, but that's not a big deal to me. I don't mind having to reapply. But they never are so matte that it feels drying. They do stay a little bit tacky, which is really nice. They feel comfortable on the lips. And the pigmentation is awesome. So I like those a lot. And then my final product. This is the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip... Um, lip something... I don't know. This has been in like my purse and has gone through my hand so much that the like writing has worn off, which is a little cheesy, but whatever. Um, and this is in the color Beeper. I don't want to talk about the color as much as the formulation. This is what Beeper looks like because I picked up Beeper and Chili Chill and honestly, those are probably not the best colors to use on me. Chili Chill, I have to mix with like a red because otherwise it just looks like gray brown on my lips which is not cute and the same with beeper it turns a little too taupe on me um so i have to mix it it's weird because it looks like soft spoken but just a little bit lighter i don't know on me it turns out weird so i do have to mix it but i think the formula on these are really really nice i do want to get more of them i really wish i could try them all 
just because it's so hard when they're online and you can't, don't know, especially for me being fair, what the color is going to look like on you or not. But I love the formulation so much. They're matte, but they're so comfortable. And I don't have to reapply after I put them on. And I don't have to worry about sometimes, actually a lot of times, I get the um, my bottom lip when I eat transfers right here because my bottom lip's so fat. Um, and I don't have that problem with these ones. So I like those a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. So anyways, that concludes my October favorites. And my camera's about to die. It says I have five minutes left. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, give this video a thumbs up to see more. Also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Pinterest at Hopeful Forever. I'll leave the links down below. I'll leave a list of my products down below. Let me know what you've been loving in October slash beginning of November. I cannot believe it's November, guys. Honestly, the past two months felt like they dragged on, but now that we're in November, I'm like, it's Christmas time. I love November, December, favorite two months of the year, hands down. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video.